So even though it's probably gonna be flickery on camera, the problem with this 2009 Subaru Tribeca is that the display has gotten so dim, you can't hardly see it. So I just thought we'd take a little time today to look into it and see how hard this will be to get to. Is there anything that we can do about it once we do so? Going into this blind, but just cut my hazard on. I think the reason this display is flickering on camera is actually because it's in that low power mode or pulse width uh, mode there. It's one of them warm days, so I definitely got the car running outside of course yeah there's our other hidden phillips and there we go there's our module Unplugs. And there we go. So now on the bench with this Subaru Tribeca display. Let's see if it's anything obvious. See the ribbon cable here. So that is not, I don't think that's a zebra strip. We have one here and here. So I was wondering about a zebra strip. I don't, I don't think that's the case. So I'm gonna put this back for the time being. chip on flex here a couple of kind of unique things there even though this is a 2009 vehicle it's an absolutely humongous inner diode here a bn27 we got our cathode and our anode there just a unique design on that uh zener diode there zd1 it looks like we also have a kind of an odd fuse here made by epcos a little bit of a different, different beef there. But unfortunately, I see no trimmer pots or anything that I was hoping to see that, that might be a factory adjustment. We might could change the intensity on. And I don't see any corrosion on any pins that might could cause a signal to get weak. I am going to um, gently pull down the locking tabs and remove this little flex and make sure I don't see much tarnishing on that. I might clean those connectors, but I don't think uh, that's giving me any issues there, to be honest. I was trying to do it so you could see it better on camera, but you just got to get those these little tabs and just gently pull them evenly. Go back to where we was at to start with here. So there is our backlight.
Just have our tabs there. So these solder joints do not look the best. I don't think it's worth taking time to, to put it under a microscope here. I think you can see that plain enough, at least I hope so. But I'm gonna take time to go through off camera and I'm gonna hit each and every solder joint to see if that might be where our problem is. And we'll be back to reassemble and install it. I really can't see nothing else that's obvious, so we'll give it a try. So this is what we look like now. Those clean, bright solder joints with some RA uh, rosin flux on there and a little bit of new solder, touching those up. And they do look tremendously better. So let's hook this thing back up and see what it does. We gotta get some air going. Well, by golly, that is brighter. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. I apologize for the the way the camera is here but that is tremendously better whether to hold up or not i don't know but i figured it's worth a shot to try it and um we'll see how it holds up i'm just going to stick this back together and we'll see how it holds up over time you cannot ask for this to be no easier to put in and take out. I had no idea how easy this was. I'm not a Subaru mechanic, nor any automotive mechanic at all, of course. I'm just a kind of electronics guy, so hobbyist at that.
Was it really just 10 minutes and that easy? I don't know, time will tell. So after about a week of testing before I posted this video, my display did start giving trouble again and I found it to be in the LCD part. So I did not have any luck finding the LCD module. As we've seen, it would have been very easy to just replace the LCD part and hook up the two ribbon cables. But unfortunately on this one, I just couldn't find it available. But off of eBay for around 45 bucks shipping and all, I did get a spare multifunction display, the whole module. So it was scratched up a little more. I just simply took it apart like I did earlier in the video and just, I swapped out the bezel and the, the clear lens, a lot better shape on ours. So I thought I would share that because I, I tried to share what I could about fixing the backlight and that didn't really work. So I had to go for a plan B and uh, so far it's working great. It looks, it looks nice and bright. So happy with that. If I turn the lights on, dims down back to day driving, right? So so the stuff earlier in my video that I tried, it did not have any luck for me on this one, but I hope something in this video you found helpful for you if yours is dim, even as a last resort, trying to buy one off of eBay at this time. So if you did find the video helpful, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and God bless. And I wish you the best of luck with yours.